This is a bomber's course. You know, 7,300 yards doesn't sound like a lot, but the players really have to rip it. How is it going? I'm Travis, the Weekend Golf Guy. Welcome to the Indoor Golf Club. Tonight, I'm playing Sanctuary, our first week one, round one event. And I want you guys to join me to see if I cheat. Am I gonna use a bunch of mulligans? Or am I gonna be honest? Let's find out tonight. Listen, thanks so much for putting up with all the craziness and working out all the bugs. This is Beta, and we're so happy to have you guys along for the ride. So thanks for all your input. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for your feedback. We wanna make this thing as cool as possible for you. And that's what we're gonna do. Tonight, I'm gonna go shank some shots. Shank some shots, that's pretty good. I haven't had enough beers to mess that up, but maybe by the end of the round, I'll be slurring my words. Who knows? Let's find out right now. Listen. Again, Travis, the Weekend Golf Guy. Thanks everybody for joining. I'm on the range right now, and here's how it's gonna look for you. You're going to be able to see me hitting on the range. You guys can ask your questions, ask away. I can wave hello and talk to you. I've got comments set up here, so if you leave a comment, I'll be able to respond live right here. So let's see, what should we do here? I'm gonna set a target out there. I love this little target thing. Uh, that E6 Connect has. So I'm gonna put a target out there, 175 straight away. That is usually a seven iron for me, but I haven't swung the club tonight. So let's see what happens here. There we go. There's the first Shankaroo. All right. I haven't swung a club since, I don't know, it feels like it's been over a week. I almost missed that one too. You know what I'm gonna do? I need to post this link into Discord. So if you're watching, if you don't mind posting this into Discord, that would be really helpful. Uh, otherwise, I can go ahead and post it myself. There we go, we're getting back on track. Still short. We're gonna get there though. Let me know how your rounds were at Sanctuary. I've been posting them up. Saw some high numbers, saw some low numbers. I'll probably end up right in between there. Oh, that's tugged. Working back to the right. Might catch a piece. Got the turquoise. There we go. What am I, like 2% accuracy now with the seven iron? Solid. All right, here we go. Felt pretty good. It's got to go. Not there. I may have to step it up to a six iron. Let's do that. Let's see what happens. I'll probably then smoke it by. All right, so we're going to go through how you set up, how you find where the settings are. Now, you should be able to find them under round one, week one, round one in Discord. You can also find them on indoorgolf.club. Uh, they're posted, they are posted right above, uh, let me go turn this music down here real quick. Sorry for that, all these commercials. So what, what, you, can, uh, what you can do is you can find it on indoorgolf.club. Um, you can look, it's at the very top of the page, it'll tell you the settings. So uh, there was some confusion about that this week. So there's two places you can find it. You can find it in Discord under the week one, round one discussion, I think it's called, or tour beta round one discussion, something like that. You can see the settings. Ricky G posted those. You can also find it at the top of the round. If you go to Indoor Golf Club, you select home and then events, week one, round one, it'll have it right at the top. So that's how you know the settings. So we're gonna set our settings. It's blue, easy pins, eight stemp, and uh, the, it's going to a line break for us. All right, so we're warming up now. I got the six iron. That target's out there, 175. I'm cold. It snowed here where I am today in upstate New York. Facebook user, I'll post a high number tomorrow. 
Sorry, I can't see who that is. It looks like there's maybe a little hiccup with, uh, with our system here. But hey, I may post one tonight. All right, we're swinging away here. That one felt pretty good, a little right of the target line, but we're starting to get out to that distance. There we go. All right, that's pretty good. If you're joining us, thanks for joining. Guess my score in the comments section. What do you think I'm gonna shoot at Sanctuary tonight? Well, that's a big old little slider. Bam, all in that yellow quadrant. I need to get this figured out. I am not loosened up. So we're testing a few things. One of the improvements that we have when we go live in the group, we actually want it to display on indoorgolf.club. So I don't know if that's happening. We're gonna go back and find out after this is all done. All right, that one's a little straighter. Nice rhythm, but felt short. Oh, and it was, it was in actually deeper than the rest of them. Must have been a lower launch angle. All right, thanks for posting that in the Discord group. I saw that it was up there. 50% accuracy, that's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> oh, I almost missed that golf ball. Bye-bye. All right, a couple more shots here, and then we're gonna hop over. I'm not feeling super confident. I need to pop open this lovely little yingling I got. Now, usually, if you've watched me play golf, I love PBR, but tonight we're going yingling. A little bit off the toe, but that's working left to right, back towards the center of the target. I'd be totally happy with that if, uh, if I got that out at Sanctuary. Now, I don't know if I've ever actually played Sanctuary, so this could be, this could be interesting. Choke down on this here. Swing is feeling all kinds of funky tonight, but we're starting to hit the target. That's what matters. I'm guessing I'm going to need to club up and just, uh, yeah, we're going to have to play. I think elevation, we set it to zero. Let's go take a look at those settings here. All right. Let's get out of this. Exit round. Back to the main menu. Here we go. Hope you all are doing okay. Thanks so much for joining the group. I'm just going to take a peek over here. Make sure we are live on Facebook. And we are, so that is good news. Now we're back here. Let's play some golf. Already signed in, weekend golf guy. Stroke play. Now I'm playing locally. I gotta go find Sanctuary, wherever the heck that is. Never played it. And I'm gonna have to set my, uh... let's see. Sanctuary golf course. Next, let's go into our game options here, or settings rather. We're going to have give me's inside. What do we have? Eight feet, ten feet? I don't know. Let me go look in Discord. You know, I'll actually take uh, I'll take you guys in there real quick with me here. So stand by. I'm just going to take you right into Discord so you can see where to find this here. Okay, so you go into tour settings round one. There it is right there. Ricky G posted that for us. So let's see. Uh, first round is blue tees, soft fairways, soft greens, eight stemp, easy pin placement. And we have 10 foot gimmies. Okay, so let's go set that back up. So blue tees, soft fairways, soft greens, eight stemp, easy pin placement. All right, there we go. Here we go. So now I'm back over on that screen there. All right, so let's jump right here. Here we are. So we had gimme inside of in uh, 10 feet, easy pin position. We have auto caddy on, train penalty was disabled, auto flybys off. Let's go into the environment. We're gonna actually just change this to, I'm gonna change this to zero because a thousand feet is crazy. And I know that some 
uh, some of the uh, different launch monitors do not have the ability to use elevation, so I'm just setting mine to zero. Uh, let's see here. Make sure 10 feet, easy pin position. Now we just need to get the, okay, accept those. The green hardness is hard. We need to change that to soft. So let's go in back into our settings. Putting pin, auto, auto, terrain penalty. Where am I at here? Here we go, green hardness, soft, he said. He did say soft, right? Let me go double check. Soft fairways, soft greens. Yikes, that's gonna be a lot of spin. Eight stem. Soft fairways, there we go. And let's change this to something cool. I wanna play, I wanna play a, hmm. Let's play a partly cloudy evening. It snowed up here today. Okay. I think we're good. Easy, unlimited, oh, we need to change from unlimited mulligans to one. So there we go, we could have got caught right there, no good. Mulligans, you can set them to unlimited if you wanted, but I'm gonna set mine to one just to make sure that I'm not uh, taking more than one on accident, because I forget sometimes, it happens. And here we go, folks, there is no going back. I gotta log out of this whole Facebook thing, or uh, I gotta change accounts here. Switch accounts, and we're gonna listen to some live music. I don't know what it's gonna be. There we go. Okay, here we go. Holy crap, look at the elevation. I'm back, thanks for your patience. What the hell do I do here? 348 to clear that. Change wind to none. Oh, good call. So before we even teed off, got back. Let's exit the round. Let's go back to the main menu. Nice catch. I am not able to see who's commenting. It's just telling me Facebook user. Usually it gives me your name. Something funky going on there. I will fix that for our next live video, but we need to go back in, play golf. Here we go. Good catch. I really appreciate that. That is nice. I do not want to play with wind unless I have to. No need to make it harder. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Sanctuary golf course. That first wind was breezy, good call. Let's see, where the heck was that at? It's probably under environment. Breezy, we need to go to none, good catch. Uh, everything else is good, 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 good. Soft, soft, here we go. All right. And I'll be checking uh, Facebook periodically as well, just to see who's, uh, who's actually commenting because it's a little difficult to see right now. Jesse Brown. Oh, Jim Johnson live. Awesome. Daryl, thanks for uh, catching me on the wind there. Appreciate that. All right, and we're back on this. Look at how freaking crazy this is. Now I'm playing from the blue tees, you can tell, because up by the weekend golf guy there, it has a little blue dot. So that's how I know I'm playing from the blue tees. You can switch that in your user settings. If you ever get confused, if we change that uh, week over week, you just go in and change that in your profile. You can do it from the E6 menu, so it's not a problem. I have no idea how far this will go with it. I mean, this is insane, 226 feet downhill. That's got to turn. <laughs> that is insane, come on. Look at that bounce, 340 yards, okay. That, <laughs> that is crazy. All right, so we've got 232 yards left. Pick up all this stuff. Downhill 38 feet. Man, could you, I can't believe, if you were playing this at a thousand foot elevation, that ball would have went forever. But we got a pond on the right, 232 yards. Par five to open us up. Kind of in between here. 
gonna start that off at the left of the green. I see that lake over there. I don't like that. I don't like it and I talked myself into it. That's gonna go right into it. Oh no! Son of a gun. That, I talked myself right into it. So I'm going to drop the ball. I'm gonna use this back button here. Thank goodness this is a par five. Now I've got some awkward yardage, 57 yards actually, to be more precise. Okay, here we go. Come on, that's crushed. Zip off of the hill. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this first hole is kicking my butt. Oh, the video embedded good on the website. That's awesome. That's like the first win we've had here. Oh man, that's great. Thanks for the feedback. Awesome. So we've got this 45 feet downhill, eight inches. Come on, get in there. All right, oh, what a tumultuous hole that was. I should unwrap the old putter. Maybe that's what the problem was. I didn't unwrap this guy, so he wasn't ready. Now that's gonna give it to me, and we're plus one. We had a penalty shot, then we were all over the place. My heart is racing right now. That was a, a tough hole. So bogey to open us up while playing live. If you're nervous about playing live, listen, it makes it more fun. I mean, you know, you are on camera, you're playing this group, uh, you know, you're going to be able to, people are going to be able to watch you swing and they're going to see your setup and all that stuff. I used to feel the same way. I, I could totally get it if you didn't want to live stream, but it is kind of cool to interact with people and it's really fun to, uh, you know, you can't hide from your bad shots, so it makes it a little more realistic. little hatred in that swing. That ball is working back to the right. I'm going to find the narrow neck of the fairway. Boom. Bamski. Oh, just shy of the three hundo. One twinkie eight uphill for my next shot. Uphill 16 feet. I'm going to club all the way up. I'm actually clubbing up too. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> all right. I just need to fly this ball 122 yards, it says but it's uphill, so probably more like 135. I'm just gonna hit a little knockdown eight iron. I tugged it. No! Come on, work off the hill. It's clearly not summer there. Otherwise that ball would have rolled down probably two, three feet. <laughs> Definitely, but now I've got another chip. So we've got a rough start going on here, but 37 feet downhill an entire foot plus eight inches. Let's do this. Come on. There we go. That should stay in the friend zone. 10 foot give me's. Speed up play a lot. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you're watching, I'm going to go check to see if there's any more friend requests to join uh, the, the indoor golf club. Let's see. Yep. Andrew, here we go. I'm going to approve you. There we go. So more friends joining. This is a beautiful looking simulated golf course. Now that says uphill 11 feet, which is kind of weird because it looks very much downhill. So maybe the, the second shot is uphill and that's what it's calculating. Interesting. Oh boy. Whoa. Thank you, Ricky G for soft fairways. Good choice. You guys got to give it up for, uh, <laughs> I need something to beat. Oh, you, I don't know that I'll be giving you anything to beat. Jay Lasco had a really good round earlier. And I think that there's going to be several others that post some really low scores, 107 yards. Uphill 18 feet, so I'm hitting a nine iron. That's a lot of club. I hope I don't do what I did last time and take it off. 
too much and work that ball to the left. I did. I worked it to the left. I'm pulling it. That thing is gone. Stay out of the shrubbery. All right. So the ball's not lost. I'm having some iron woes. I'm gonna just keep this club downhill nine feet. Come on. Oh, no! Didn't get it to within 10 feet. So we have a pressure putt coming up right now. 10 feet, three inches. It's uphill at least, so that's good. Let's see if we can drain this guy. This would be good. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. We're working our way to a birdie. It's a long journey. Maybe on hole number nine, we'll get a birdie. Oh, number four, Sanctuary Golf Course. This is freaking tricky. All right, here we go. Blind tee shot. We need to work this ball back to the right. It's working, it's gotta go. Go! Oh yeah, that's purdy. That is purdy. Look at that thing roll out there. This is a crazy long hole. Par five, that's why, okay. I thought it's number four, par five. 213, what would you guys hit here? Guys and gals. 201 to the front. It's downhill 40 feet, so I'm actually taking one club less. There we go, little club, tw club twirl there. Come on, come on, come on! Go! Oh, that is awesome! Six feet for the gimme eagle! I skipped the birdie, what the hell? Come on! That's probably my best live simulated golf shot I think I've ever had. So, I'm pretty stoked about that. All right, all right. Let's see. All right, so at the end of this video, I'm also gonna upload my own score. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that and how to go on the portal. 143, downhill 43 feet. I'm still gonna play it like it's 150. That could be a big mistake, but there's nothing long. Everything short looks like bad news bears. So, okay, let's just see what happens. Really took a lot off of that. It's working back towards the flag. Is it the right stick? It's got a zip back, come on. No zippity on that guy, that's fine. We still got a putt here for birdie. It'd be nice to get this birdie. 21 feet, downhill eight inches. Holy crap, this is gonna be fast. That's got to hit the hole or a backboard and it's in. That is beautiful, super lucky. So we went eagle birdie after a bogey start. <laughs> oh, what the hell golf, you're crazy. 147.1 yards. Now this one's uphill. We're playing that same club back to back, par threes. Super unique, I like that. Here we go. I tugged it. Golly. And it went further than I wanted. We got one of those weirdo downhill chips. And I'm gonna pull out a pitching wedge because on my simulator, if I use too lofted of a wedge, uh, sometimes it reads it as like a flubbed shot. So I'm gonna use this pitching wedge and just hit the screen here. Settle. I talked to my simulated golf ball because why not? We're going to walk away with a par. And if you've ever played or watched me play simulated golf, 
Par threes are my nemesis. I'm terrible at par threes. I've never been good at them. Even in real life, I suck at par threes. I have no idea why. I think it's mental, like I'm mental. <laughs> Who knows, 217 to the elbow. Is that water there? I can't tell, it looks kind of shady. All right, 217 just to the neck. I think we're gonna play our, we're gonna take our chances on this one. We're gonna, we're gonna play it down to the corner there and play our second shot in because I don't know where to land a drive. I have no idea how to do that. And that's a little righter than, I, more right, not righter than I wanted to be. Looks like there's some fairway over there. So take your lickens when you can. Maybe a longer shot than I wanted. 126, okay. Downhill 34 feet. It's actually a great look into this, but I could have definitely been more aggressive and went straight at that. Lesson learned. I thought that was water there. It looks really shaded all the left portion of the, of the uh, fairway, so. Okay, 126 yards. We gotta hit a good one here. Felt really nice if it starts to work. It's gotta sit. That's gotta sit. Bye bye. Yep. Son of a gun. All right. Made a mistake. Gotta recover. We're gonna use that pitching wedge again. 63 feet. Man, I don't think I can use a pitching wedge. That looks too, uh, too dangerous. Because if I hit it low, I could stop in that grass. This is like not the, this is not the right position to be in. So I'm gonna hit 60 degree wedge. Settle, whoa. Ah. All right, it ain't over, it ain't over. We made a 21 footer that was downhill eight inches. Now we have a 17 footer uphill six inches. All right, here we go. That felt really good. Boom! The putter's hot, folks. Should have went for it. You're right. Can't see who that is. You guys know if you're watching right now. I should have went for it. You're right. All right. 309 yards. This looks a little more friendly for the old driver. Little Chet Faker in the background. We're two under through eight. With a We had a rocky start. One in the water on the first tee. You know what? Time to crack the old yingling. Cheers, folks. Thanks for joining Indoor Golf Club. So happy to be playing with you all. And uh, we appreciate your patience as we grow together. Oh, yeah, we can get past that. Here we go. I hit that off the toe. Yep. Got lucky. You can see it. That ball didn't go anywhere. Now we have a 80 yard shot. No problem, we can do this. 80 yards, 80 yards. Do I hit a wedge? Big high wedge, I don't think I do. Settle. She gone. Okay, we got to trust the old chipping again. Short irons have been like ice cold. 51 feet, downhill three feet. Okay, that's all we needed to do. Just kind of slide her on down there, two feet, eight inches. Holy hell, par four, <laughs> 278, uphill 44 feet. Pin position, easy, look at that. All the way to the left. All right, sand guarding the front. We're gonna try and hit this guy really high. I'm kind of widening up my stance here. I'm gonna swing up on this. Another one off the toe, it's working to the right. 
Hit the cart path. Ooh. Okay. That's not bad. I'll take that. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, I love this driver. This is a ping driver. You may not be able to see it, but it's usually, that's where I'm hitting. It's all white. What a lovely driver. I switched to ping a couple years ago, and I'm telling you, it is just, it's changed my golf life. It's such a great ping. The material on the face, it just feels like it freaking goes. I don't know. I, I played TaylorMade forever, and, uh, you know, I'm pretty partial to ping now. Just only for their woods, though. I don't really care for their clubs too much. 65 yards. Saddle ball. Yikes. In the bush. We got a chip. I've got no short game. No touch. Here we go. 46 feet. There we go. Whoa, she gone. We got a putt. Putter needs to stay hot for us, just this hole. So we gotta get this par. 19 feet uphill, six inches. Did I hit it hard enough? Yes! <laughs> a putting clinic, folks. All right. That's good. That'll put a smile on the old face after a chip into the bush. All right, so we're two under. We made it through nine holes. We had a rough start, but we had that eagle birdie that saved us. Best simulated shot I've had. I do not need that for 176 yards. Downhill 35 feet with the pin on the right-hand side. Like this, this should be freaking easy pickings here. I'm gonna hit a seven iron. I was hitting a six on the range, but I feel like I'm a little more warmed up. I've aimed to the center of the green because I hit a left to right ball. It's not turning because I told you I hit a left to right ball. Okay, hit it to 19 feet. I cannot be unhappy about that. I've, I'd probably be ecstatic if that were in real life. Nine, oh, 14 feet, not 19. 14 feet, three inches, downhill one inch. A little tricky slider. Oh, buddy. There's another one. This might be the best putting round I've ever had. It could be. Now, if you've watched, if you go back to the Weekend Golf Guy, I have a Facebook page. If you go there and watch when I played Bountiful Ridge, I think I had like 30 putts on the front nine. So this is... Uh, abnormal we got a par five i like the par fives i have no idea where to aim wow it gets real narrow there they challenge you i think we could fly it right there downhill 72 feet we could uh, just work that ball off the left working it back towards the right catch a little cart path maybe get the boost it is working back to the right I didn't quite catch all that it's flirting with the sand and we're hanging on the edge no problem okay so didn't catch it all 266 and obviously I feel like we have to go for it so I'm going to pull out the three wood it's so far away I do not anticipate getting there, but I think we can uh, we can get up there somewhere nice. Almost came out of my shoes. All right, stayed up on the grassy knoll. <laughs> I need to take putting lessons, he says. Who the heck is that? Who's commenting? Let's see what we got over here. Let me go back to the indoor golf club. So sorry, I can't see all the uh, comments here. Enrique, hey man, I'll give you some simulated golf putting lessons. It would be pretty awesome to do that. Uh, it's pretty easy, you know, just put it straight. I mean, what else you gotta worry about? 
where the heck, there we are, 60 degree from the grassy knoll, 46 yards, uphill two feet. That's cooked. Bye bye. See ya. Sayonara. I crushed it. Oh my God. Hey, Enrique, if you're offering uh, some wedge lessons, I'll give you some putting lessons. We can, uh, we can trade these. Golly. 39 feet. My gosh. Get on the green. Ah. Oh. Got to rely on the putter again. Thank God the putter is hot. Let's see if we can make this one. Pouring them in. Downhill one inch. This looks tricky. Thank goodness. This is a... Uh... Look, y'all saw me set up the, the settings. So I can't wait to hear the comments about the putting, but... Listen, you guys watched me do the settings. You're watching the live play. 276. I don't know, that's a brave shot if you want to go over all that. But it's only 260. All right, we're going for it. We're going for it. Oh boy. Strategically placed sand. Hit it down to a range that I know I can't hit from. Solid choice. That is how you play indoor golf. <laughs> 55 yards. Boy, does this feel familiar. All right, come on. That's gonna be short because I was so scared of going long. All right, we're not done. We got a Hail Mary pass here. 68 feet uphill, one inch. That's way to the right. I opened the club face up, crazy. That might not give it to me because it's not on the green. I don't think that's gonna give it to me because I'm on the fringe. Son of a gun. 10 foot only applies if you stay on the green. Seven feet, four inches downhill, three inches. All right, yikes. That was a little scary. Heart is pumping. Oh. Hope y'all are doing good. Love the footwork on the drive. Thanks, appreciate it. 311 yards hole number 13 we're three under that's good now that could all go away with a singular bad shot look at the water down there on the right oh man we're not playing with this that was some uh self foreshadowing going on we can just hit it 250 down there something like that 138 feet downhill just hit it down to the corner. I don't think we want to be too far because we don't want to come up over that water, but that ball's working down to the right. Okay. That's, that's it. Okay. So we ended up in the fairway. That's good news. Take a little sip of our good friend Yingling. 93 yards. Downhill 12 feet. We're going to stay straight at the flag here. Cooked it. All these short shots, I'm just smoking them. Everything is long and I set the elevation to zero. So I need to get out and play some more golf. We're just going to use the same club. 73 feet. Downhill four feet. That's got to roll out a lot. I don't think that's getting there. Oh no. We got a putt. For par, this is a tough par four. 
21 feet downhill, three inches. I had my club face open and I don't think I hit that hard enough. I didn't, there it is. So you can tell when you don't, I mean, you know, when it feels right, it feels right. And when it doesn't, just like that, I knew it club face open. I felt that in my hands and you could see it right on the screen. There it was. Now we're back to this 175 ish range. And I love that. Look at this little swell on the green. It looks like either that or it's a crazy shadow aiming to the left. I'm going to hit that same seven iron, 173 yards, this 175 club. I can really crank it sometimes and hit it farther. Come on, turn. Work. Ten feet seven inches from where I aimed, and it's at fourteen feet total from the pin. So, another good shot. I feel like I got to be more aggressive on those. Just trust the trust that I'm hitting them a little straighter than normal. Fourteen feet one inch uphill two inches. I smoked that. So we've got another 10 feet coming up, 10 feet, two inches. I just absolutely blistered that one by. Now it's downhill. There it is. Calm the nerves, get the par. That's okay. I'll take a par on par threes. I told you they're my nemesis. If you're watching, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the Indoor Golf Club. You also can live stream to this Facebook group. And when you do, your live stream will go right to the web page. Now, I haven't seen that with my own eyes, but I saw a comment that says uh, that that happens. So I'm going to believe you guys and gals that that is going to happen. Uh, and uh, let's see what happens. So anybody that live streams, it's going to post. And then it's going to post like the 10 previous rounds. So if 12 people live stream, uh, and two people are live streaming at the same time. Those two people will show up as live and then the 10 previous live streams will show up below that. So you'll be able to see all the live streaming. Now we're going to play around with the formatting and everything else. So it looks a little prettier and cleaner. Right now we are doing functionality tests as you are all submitting your data. We're building the workflows. How are we going to do this? Lots of stuff going on in the background and we appreciate all your feedback and your patience, for sure. Boom. That isn't a really great angle into the screen. 250 yards with water. Do you guys hit this short of the water and just play it safe? I, mean, I feel like that's the smart play. If I'm protecting a score, where did I lose a stroke at? That's interesting. I don't, maybe I, got, I forgot I got a bogey. I guess it was on that long putt. Uh, that's good that I forgot. 145 yards, we're just gonna, just gonna hit an iron down there. There we go. Lovely. So now we have a nice look at the pin kind of hanging out on the left hand side of the fairway, 100 yards in. Now I've been cooking these by, so I'm going to need a little, uh, some happy thoughts. Just swing easier. 94.4 yards. Got to adjust for that 0.4. And I still cooked it by now. To be fair, I'm hitting a nine iron low at it. So they're like, wow, you barely swung. Yeah, I'm hitting a nine iron at 100 yards. So it's going to be a very short swing. 20 feet. Man, how the heck do you hit a 20 footer? Whew, downhill two feet. Let's try. I got a moth. <laughs> Loves the light. Okay, so I think that stayed within the uh, 
the old friend zone there. Shot, gimme. That's good. Get out of here. That is a tough par five. Now we're on number 16 of Sanctuary. We're playing our first week one, round one, live simulated round. And we appreciate you all hanging out here. We just need to hit this one. Uh... Man. I don't know which way to go here. Lots of, lots of fairway. It looks like a couple hundred yards out. Let's see how far this is. 218. Yeah, that's probably the smart. That's the smart play. Just hit it down into the fat part of the fairway. Now it's uphill significantly, so I don't know if I can get it down into that, but let's see what we can do. I pulled it. That's lucky. Yikes, I pulled that pretty bad. Seventy five yards. Here we go. Yikes. It sounded like a rock when I hit it. I wonder if something's wrong with the ball. That was also a very poor swing. Forty nine feet. Okay, we've got an 11-foot putt after a poor second shot. Struggling on my irons, my short irons today. 11 feet, 3 inches, uphill 3 inches. Crushed. Bye-bye. Sit down. Oh, goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. That is not good. We've got to make this one. 11 feet, 2 inches, downhill, 4 inches. Ah, the putting! So hot and so cold. But that, I mean, I'm just crushing my first putts. I'm not thinking about it. Got to slow down. Think about the putt. All right, so we're back to even. I think Jay said he was 4 under and went back to even. We're on a similar trajectory. These shadows are killing me. We're going right there. Here we go. Today it snowed outside. I woke up to about an inch of snow all over the ground. Everything was covered. Two days in a row of snow. That's aggressive. Oh, that would have been cool if it rolled all the way down there. This is a cool little course. So if you have never live streamed before, you know, you can see how we have the setup. I've got an iPad here and I use a special kind of software because I do this all the time. It's been many years of building it up, but all you need to do to live stream to this group is a phone, smartphone, Galaxy, Note, Android, uh, iPhone, whatever you all have, even a webcam. Will work fine. You just go live from Facebook, put the camera behind you, swing away. Hey, don't worry about the, the sound and all that good stuff. You know, you don't need a fancy microphone. You don't need all that good stuff. Uh, just, just play some live golf and people will comment. It's going to be a good time. 65 feet downhill, 13 feet. So that read it as a very low shot. but it wasn't, it was way up into my enclosure. That's okay, I'm gonna take that. 25 feet. There we go, that's fine. Walk away with our par, I think that was a par. If not, I'm gonna be mad I didn't use my mulligan. But that first one was a misread for sure. I hit way up into my enclosure. It read it as a low shot, no problem. We're on number 18. We're even, I just need to shoot one under par here and I'll be happy. I'd love to turn in a one under. 
we got a par four, looks pretty straight away. Some trouble on the left hand side, looks a little more wide on the right. Now that's only 209 yards out there, that pin. So I wanna put my pin out a little farther to gauge, that's probably about how far I'll fly it. So I wanna work that ball back to the right. So typically I open my legs up a lot. I'm actually gonna close them off a little bit here. And I hit that off the toe. Oh boy, it's narrow over there. Get lucky. <whistles> Little tree in the way on my second shot, but okay. So 252 started it off too far to the right. 163 uphill. This is a seven iron. It's uphill 60 feet. And that pin is tucked all the way in the back. I think we want to hit that little ridge right there. Looks like a ridge on the screen anyways. I don't know if it actually is. Let's work this ball back to the pin. Boy, that felt really nice. It's working back there. Settle, crushed. Yikes, every single shot fly in the pin. All right, we got a tricky, little tricky uh, chipper again. 20 feet, downhill one foot. Whoa. Okay, that stayed, that's good. That must be uphill there. So we got the par, so we shot even. That was a good time. So what do we do next? That's what we need to know. Let's go ahead and get, hey, how's it going? Welcome, thanks so much for joining. I just played my round and here you go. You can see it right there. Uh, I shot par, I shot 34, 38. You guys joined me. There was an eagle and a birdie back to back. That was pretty cool. Uh, but now I have to enter my scores. What I would do right now, if this were the indoor golf club, uh, is I would be taking a screenshot of this using the snipping tool or maybe a print screen or however you like to take a screenshot of this, depending on if you're on a Mac or Windows or whatever, you'd have to be on Windows if you're playing E6. So there's a thing called on Windows 10 called snipping tool. If you just search it by going to your menu in the left-hand side, typing in snipping tool, it comes in. You could just take a screenshot. I then go to indoorgolf.club and at the very top, let's just go there right now. Let's not talk about it, let's just do it. Uh, let's go ahead and go over there. Here is our Facebook page, but I'm gonna walk you through this right now. If I go right to the top of my page here, there is a scorecard submission button. First, I'd wanna go ahead and type in my scores. And so let's do that. I'm here, this is uh, Travis, there I am. My cursor's already there. I had a six on the first hole. I'm gonna hit tab because that's a great way to do it. Then I went four, four, three, that was awesome. Two, three, four, four, four for 34. Now that should get me through nine holes. Let's just go line up. Okay, cool, I have nine in there. Oops. All right, so now I'm gonna go two, had a birdie, great, that's super cool. Five, four, five, three, Five, oh no, the dreaded double six, four, four for my 38. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click submit and it's gonna submit those for me. There I go, it's user submitting and it kicks me back to the top. Now what I'd wanna do is I'd wanna go grab using my snipping tool. It looks like this if you haven't seen it. I'm gonna actually just go take a quick screenshot over on the other screen, you won't see it, but that's okay. I'm gonna take this, there I am, it has my name, Weekend Golf Guy. I could save this, uh, save this file locally. You just go to File, Save As, and just, uh, you can put it right on the desktop and call it, I like to do this week one, round one, uh, Weekend Golf Guy. That way I know who's uploading it. There we go. I'm gonna go minimize this and I'm going to choose a file. You all saw me just go ahead and load that up. I'm going to my desktop here. Week one, round one, weekend golf guy. There we go. It's attached. I'm gonna click submit. And there it goes. I can tell it's submitted because it kicked me back to the top. 
No problem. Hey, look at that. I can see that we're live right there and five people are watching. That's super cool. I'm so stoked that that worked. You guys have no clue. Uh, so if you go live as well, you're going to be able to see this. And look, you can see the 12 comments. I can share it. That is a beautiful thing. Uh, all right. So I've submitted my scorecard. That is good. There is one more thing, but I'm seeing a little problem right now that our submit button went away. And what I would want to do next is I would want to go to uh, the E6 dashboard, actually, and I'd want to take a screenshot from there just so we could see that you didn't use any mulligans. I'm not going to do that this time. It is, there's a PDF. If you uh, take a look at our week one round one, there was a PDF that was placed in there. It tells you exactly how to go to E6 portal. If you've never been, you're in for quite a treat. Uh, it's pretty cool. Go to E6 portal. You can just Google it, or you can use that PDF that's in our round one announcements. I put it there as well. That's a step-by-step -step guide and what we're asking you to do right now to submit your scores. Uh, so go ahead and follow those steps. Go to the E6 portal, click on your dashboard, and you're going to see the round that you just played. You're going to be able to screenshot that and hit submit as well. I'm going to go fix this submit button going away after you submit one file. That looks like a bug that I caught live. That's cool. Hey, whatever. We're going to be working through all these things. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We really appreciate it. We hope that you're having fun and you're enjoying competing against each other in this time of social distancing. Hey, thanks so much. Again, I'm the Weekend Golf Guy, Travis. We appreciate you all so much. Have a lovely night. I'm going to be posting my scores up there. I'm going to be posting your scores and reach out to me with any questions that you have. And until next time, uh, listen, hit them straight. Thanks so much. Have a good one.